G'day ladies and gentlemen, this is Engineering in Space Pirates and Zombies 2, and I am your host, Vastima. With my second playthrough of Space Pirates and Zombies 2 at an end, I'm going to be designing and testing some ships just for the fun of it. So, let's get to it. Okie dokie, this uh, next ship is actually going to be a 20 core design, not a 21. You're probably wondering why can't I just stick in that last sub core somewhere and I'm afraid I simply can't. You will see why soon. Now I'm going to just lay it out and then we will pretty her up in a sec. Let's just try and get this right. Uh, it'll be six across and then four. Yeah, four up. As you can see by all the parts laying around, I have already experimented on how I want it to go and ordered all the parts I need. So I, uh, don't need to do that while you're watching, or I don't need to do extended uh, edits. Now, I'm starting to uh, wonder if I probably shouldn't have just put the spine together and, and um, skip this bit too. Anyway, so this is basically what we want. And uh, as I said, I might just pretty that up a bit. I'll move the both the habitat decks to the back there and mulch cores to the corners maybe yep i do have another one here we go um yeah yeah i think that's all right for the spine uh so yep as you can see it's a 20 core square design and uh first thing we want to do of course is uh put our flak on as per usual now I have purchased a medium minor nose uh, for uh, one of my uh, flak parts and you're probably familiar with that if you've watched any other episodes in the series and I have also uh, purchased a medium militia engine and it's going to go here just in front of the grinder now as you can see, it looks like it's inserting itself into it, but we, we're just going to pretend that that's a uh, engineering thing going on there. Now, apart from the aesthetics, the important thing is, as you can see, these flat cannons, or in fact any guns that you put on these parts, uh, jut way out above uh, the other average parts, or at least... Uh, the lower parts such as the habitat deck, the mulch core and the brick posts. So that should give the flat cannons a fairly decent field of fire. Uh, anyway, let's just pop back out to overhead view. And as I drink some water, um, okay, now, this entire ship is basically going to be a missile design. So, oh, <laughs> almost forgot the Defender Fighters. As per usual, I'm sticking on uh, some Defender Fighter hangers. And I will be using the uh, large Hunter engines at the back, each with a Defender hanger. So that will give me a complement of 16 Defender drones. Now, as I said, this is going to be primarily a missile uh, uh, armament on this ship. So I'm going to use... Uh, now, I could fit in one large part and one small part, but two medium parts actually have exactly the same stats as one large part and one small part. So for aesthetics, um, I chose... Great, there goes my voice. Every time. <clears throat> every time I start recording um, so yeah instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two medium parts and yet again for aesthetic reasons I've chosen to use uh, medium science parts which I rarely use because on the outside ship as regular wings 
Well, they look fucking ugly. Like, let's have a look at it. Can you imagine them on the outside ship as wings? They look but fucking ugly. So, instead, we're going to put them on the inside of our little square. And I think it's, you know, it forms like an interesting little framework. Of course, that could just be me, but... Either way, I've got uh, four of these medium wings, medium science wings, and each of them, being medium parts, can carry two missiles. So that gives us a total of eight regular missiles in the centre here. Uh, we're also going to have uh, torpedoes, and we're going to have two of torpedoes on each of these large wings. Now these large wings are large militia wings and all up that will give us eight torpedoes. Now to round off the craft and basically to knock down enemy shields on star bases and motherships, we got some iron warheads and I've installed them on, well they are already installed on but I am installing uh, two large science noses and each of them carry a single iron warhead giving us two so all up let's have a look at what we've got we've got the uh, four flat cannons in uh, two separate batteries uh, we have uh, two defender hangers which gives us 16 defender drones we have eight regular missiles on the inside of the craft we have eight torpedoes on the wings of the craft and two ion warheads on the nose and so without further ado let us test my new baby girl so i found a bandit enforcer level 122 threat 85 uh, this guy wouldn't be any difficulty whatsoever against any other ship i've designed but this is a pure missile ship, and missile ships tend to be a little harder to use, so I'm interested to see how we go. He also has eight strike craft, which uh, with missile ships tends to be the main problem, unless you go completely old style uh, missiles, but I've only got eight of them, not, you know, 20 plus. So uh, without gravity missiles or leech beams, uh, the torpedoes and the ion warheads are going to have difficulty hitting the strike craft but um, I'm gonna shut up now and let's see how we do in actual combat looks like nobody's coming to interfere which is just dandy okay let's spin around to the left see what we got going on dodge that asteroid and Okay, so let's pick an actual target. Let's pick this guy actually. That way our next volley of missiles should target him. Yep, there goes the regular missiles with the blue trails. And he's being chased by torpedoes. Now, those ion warheads are never going to hit him unless he comes straight towards me. He is a moron. Okay, I thought I was going to have to get right on top of him to uh, generate a hit, but... I think that guy's a small, he's not going to uh, have much chance of beating me. Let's actually, come on, let's deal with this guy. Oh no, they've already fired, bugger. Okay. Come on, fire everything. God, those torpedoes are slow. I'm moving faster than my torpedoes. The good thing about the missiles and the torpedoes though is they've got some legs on them which means if they miss there is a chance that they will swing around and retarget. Of course, unfortunately these strike craft, yep they are absolutely out distancing uh, my torpedoes but he moved the silly fuck turned and he just took a whole salvo of torpedoes into his side so he's dead he dead okay let's see if no i was hoping um i'd get a proximity explosion from these guys but no such luck where the fuck are all my missiles going they are out of 
Rage, okay, that's definitely a bug. Um, <laughs> they're trying to hit a guy that is way outside their range. I think the range is 1,200 for missiles these days and 1,100 for torpedoes. Don't quote me on that. It's changed. Ooh, plasma discharger. Ouch. Um, it's changed so much over time that it's hard to remember. Okay, let's spin around. Right, 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 right. And... Oh, that was a uh, bomber. Okay, come on. Let's get on top. Where the hell are you? Stop firing at targets that I haven't picked to be targets here. I have to manually fire at him. Prick. There we go. Come on. Right on top of him. Come on. There we go. Oh, bugger. Okay, that is one problem with the Ion Warheads if they get blown apart near you or if the enemy comes near you and they explode they take out your shields as well okay at us okay there we go and switch targets to this guy Oh, I think I know why it was going towards the mothership before uh, the lock-on reticle um, was over the mothership. I'm assuming that's what happened. I always forget that pressing the E is not enough with missiles. You have to actually wait for the reticle to um, come up over them. Okay... Oh, that's not bad. I was thinking because they launched at extreme long range, uh, if they missed, obviously they weren't going to have another chance to swing around. But, oh my god, he just continued on the same vector for so long that um, they were able to track him and obliterate him. Now, as you can see, um, battles with missiles, even uh, with these low numbers against weak strike craft, you you have to play a more nuanced battle. I don't know what you'd call it, but yeah, you, you definitely can't just uh, wipe everything out in seconds like you could if you were armed with plasma discharges, for instance. Wow. That was so close to both of those... Um, both of those ion warheads exploding on top of me. Oh, there goes his shields. Oh, no. Both of them together still didn't manage to take out his shields. Okay, they will this time though. <clears throat> You're probably wondering why I'm not using uh, SRMs and there's two reasons for that. One, I don't know what it is but they do not seem at all to do anywhere near the damage that they do on paper. Uh, and by paper I mean uh, in the parts catalogue. Um, and two, like I, I was talking about with the legs on these missiles before, uh, with the SRMs, because their range is so short. In fact, I'm not even 100% sure that the SRMs will turn around for a, another go. Bye bye, mothership. Let's take care of this last pirate strike craft. See how the, uh, the regular missiles, they spin around there. And even the torpedoes. I'm not 100% sure whether the SRMs will do that. And even if they do... Um, since their range is only, I think, 450 these days, um, if you launch at the distance of their range, they're just going to fizzle out if they, they miss. And the chances are, most of the time, you are going to be launching at uh, the limit of their range. And let's just take all out of habit. And we'll put this into weapon damage. There we go now. Let's go and attack some zombies. Okay, so next up we will be attacking a zombie starbase. Threat 150, level 119, with eight uh, strike craft uh, as part of its organic complement. Let's get on with it. And it looks like two zombies are coming along for the ride. So, this battle is going to be completely full. Let's quickly spin around to the left. Um, let's manually target this asteroid, see if we can take it out. 
And that's a yay, that's a yay. Did the torpedoes get it? No, I don't think they did. Yes, they did. Excellent, okay. We're going to have to manually baby our targets this time around or we're going to get annihilated this guy. You are number one. Everything, fire at him, crush him, destroy him. Now, if we can get in front of him before our next ion warhead launch, we should be able to drop them right on top of him and strip those shields. Nope, we missed. Oh, well. These things happen. Oh, is he breaking off? No, he's just spinning the other way. Okay, yep, there goes the torpedo. It's missing completely. That can't be helped. And we've got this little cheeky prick. Okay, the iron warhead's connected, but I'm not even sure he had shields left. He must have, else they wouldn't have fired at him, I think. Oh, 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 we're getting some solid hits. Torpedoes, yes, excellent. Now, if he had stayed to my left or right, I wouldn't have been able to generate a hit on him, but... He let himself lag too far behind, and we're going to get some solid hits again. Yep, there goes his shields. And let's try and keep him directly behind us. If we can get some uh, torpedo hits on him, he is going to be fucked. And... no, miss, miss. Oh, oh, we got a decent hit. Okay, so we got three torpedo hits on him. And the missiles are going in. They will slowly grind him down. Uh, another reason why I have these missiles, rather than adding uh, an extra two large wings and therefore an extra four torpedoes, is uh, they're competing with the torpedoes um, for uh, point as point defence targets for the enemy ships. That way, all the point defence isn't going at the torpedoes. Um, okay, let's burn ahead. Actually, we'll target this guy. If we can just stay behind him. Sorry, ahead of him, I mean. Get him to stay behind us. Yep, oh, good solid hit on him. Ah, oh, this prick with the laser, though. He's going to eat away at my shields fairly quickly. Dump something on top of him. Nope, he's not going to oblige us. Okay, this guy's shields are down. Can we get a torpedo hit? Oh, 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 come on. He is uncomfortably close. Which means... Oh, oh, he's turning, he's turning. Oh, that was a big mistake, dude. You are fucked. Okay. Let's, um, we got a bit of boost juice back. Let's see if we can just get ahead of this guy. And... Oh, there goes my iron warhead. And bang, there goes his shields. What do we got? Just a little shit. He hasn't even got shields. He must be a small strike craft. I think this guy's breaking off. You little fucking coward. And he's dead anyway. Okay. Oh, actually, I'm going to reload while I've got plenty of boost juice in the tank. There we go. Switch reticle over to this guy. And can we get ahead of him? Yeah, 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 this is looking good. No, he's turning too hard. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, thought I was going to run. I was going to just get those iron warheads close enough for them to uh, do a proximity burst. No such luck. You little shit. Did we defend the fighters? Lock onto you. Everything. Just lock onto him. Take him out. Blown to pieces. Yeah, there we go. Now let's get back to the main event. Okay. Come on. Uh, let's take this guy out. Let's let him get a little close. No. Nah. No, nope. he's running away. Okay. My uh, regular missiles should be able to take out these small strike craft. In fact, let's start sliding around back towards the star base for a number of reasons one we don't want it to take forever to get back there later on but two i might take out those asteroids while normally small strike craft are barely even uh, worth an afterthought um 
again, they're not going to do any damage to us, but they take time to destroy when you got missiles. So I would rather go and destroy those asteroids before they pump out 50 of these little bastards. Obviously, they can't pump out 50 at once, but they add up, and I don't want to have to just continually destroy small bloody strike craft when it could be uh, facing off against these bigger guys. Okay, so I've went past both of the motherships. Can't be helped. And, ooh, somebody's got some decent... Actually, I think they're fighters, not uh, point defense. Come on, fire everything at this guy. Come on. Let's dissuade him. Ooh, ooh, oh, nah. So close. And I'm out of boost juice. If I can just get ahead of him a bit. Ooh, damn. Okay, let's get away from the dude with the range beam. Ooh, yes! We got him with the iron warhead, so he's lost his shields now. So, damn, even my regular missiles are missing him. Little cheeky shit. Okay, let's try and get in front of him. That way we can shoot him down the throat. Oh, and he's gone. Okay. Let's head towards these asteroids. Hell, maybe we might even be able to take out the enemy base while all these pricks are catching up. I doubt it, but you never know. Um, so these guys are way out range. Okay, the reticule's all the way over there targeting that guy for some reason. And there we go. Target him, he's at least in range. And, ooh, I think we might have actually got a few hits there. Okay, while we're out of capacitor juice, let's get our angle of approach right, and let's boost for a little bit. Okay, we'll stop while there's a quarter in the tank. Ooh, come on, dude. Come on, come towards me, come towards me, come towards me. Come straight towards me. Come on. Come on, come on, decide that the only way to catch up is to come straight up my arsehole. And uh, no, you're still veering off to the side. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Still, still getting some solid hits with the regular missiles, I just wish. Ooh, 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 are you going to just come towards me just long enough for... Um... Nope. Ooh, 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 torpedo hit, torpedo hit, ooh, one more solid hit. Oh, there's enough missiles going down range that they should take him out. Yes, they did. Okay, actually, let's see how we're doing. Ooh, we are getting close. As you can see, uh, playing with missiles is a bit like playing with carriers, only about five times slower, which is saying something considering playing with carriers is pretty slow to start with. <laughs> Uh, I think the, the most fun with missiles is the fact that when you kill something with them, you really fucking blow the fuck out of them. Um, as you saw with the torpedoes, it's hard getting solid hits, but when you do get solid hits, wow, is it impressive. Okay, everything go towards this guy over here. Uh, what's up, little dude? Yeah, fire everything at him while he's right next to us. And... Whoa! Oh, I'm getting within range of the base weapons there. And... Ooh, spore ball. Come on, flak. There we go. Actually, I'm not sure if that was the flak or if it was a defender fighter. Oh, I don't say defender fighters usually, and I've done it twice this episode. I usually say defender drones. Why? Because I usually stuff up all the time and say strike fighters anyway. So that way I try and separate them so you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, everything. Fire at this guy. That's why I have the little lock-on reticule on him. Fire. Torpedoes. Go in. Look, look. He's showing his guts. There we go. 
Okay, did we get that other one before? Nay, we did not. Okay. Oh, yeah, that probably isn't the best idea to walk around all the way through there. Walk around? Whoa, I just completely cracked. <gasps> oh, shit. Nearly got hit by two spore balls then. Okay, now come on. Destroy this thing. Come on. Everything go in there and blow it up, blow it up. Not ion warheads, obviously. Jesus Christ. All that was left was the core, and it was still there. Okay. Um, I'm thinking I may have to thin out the herd because there's a whole buttload of strike craft coming my way. Is that a spore ball? Oh no. I think it was a um, gravity warhead that just didn't have the legs to get to me. Um, no, it's a spore ball. They've got those weird wavy trails. Okay, come on. Ooh, 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 actually, no, I need to reload. And there is a mothership on my asshole. So what we might do is we might... Oh, shit, no. Don't want to go anywhere near that. We want to win this battle, not run away from it. Okay, come on. Now let's fire everything at this shithead. And there you go, my iron warheads. And come on, you're not going to dodge anywhere near as much as these strike craft, so I can jink a bit with you. Damn, I might have to get on top of him to drop these iron warheads because he's taking them out uh, too far out. I think he might have fighters, not 100% sure. Um, did I say fighters again? Okay, well, I don't know if it actually hit then or he just took it out too late. Oh, there's a uh, explosive warhead. But either way, uh, it it blew up on top of him. So, oh, there's another one. And, oh, yeah, that fucked him. Oh, shit, Mac Hammers. Then again, those Mac Hammers... I don't know what it is about them, but they're supposed to be great for taking out um, strike craft, but every time I've tried them out, fuck they suck rancid donkey's balls, like, they just seem to do no damage. At least the plasma discharges look like they're doing no damage and slaughter everything inside. Um, okay, now nah, he's got some shields back. I'm going to have to deal with some of these little pricks. Where is a decent one? I think you're decent. Yes, you are. You just have no shields and hardly any health. So that's the perfect sort of... Not, not him! No, no, this guy! Yes, that guy. You bastard, you just wasted half my missiles. Okay, there we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Fucking kill him. Okay. Great. So, I managed to get a bloody ion warhead through the teeth of defences. And all the other missiles I couldn't. Okay, let's see if we can take out this guy. He's got a shield, so he's got to be at least a medium strike craft. What is that? Is that a star cruiser or something? Not sure. Anyway, we're properly locked onto him now. And so he has his own drones. That is inconvenient. Or at least I think he. I'm sure they were drones. Yeah, I think they're zappers. Yep, zappers. Because defender drones have those green. Um, I don't know, almost looks like gunfire, while the zappers have got lasers. Well, actually, yeah, the defenders it would be um, like miniguns, green miniguns. We will call them green miniguns from now on. Okay, no, 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 change reticle. No, oh, fuck off. You, you are the new target. There we go. Actually, I'm out of capacity juice, so let's run away a bit. And we are getting far away from the enemy base again. Okay, I can uh, stand a few more shots from that pulsar, not a problem. 
especially if we can get a ooh, look at all those SRMs coming in uh, those SRMs that are doing absolutely nothing why am I worried about them and that are, are those iron warheads going to yes excellent solid hits and another one going in even though his shields are down he's gone awesome okay finish this guy off i think he might just be yeah i think he was just an asteroid spawned small craft small craft yeah small strike craft let's take out this guy and come on he's still got his shields up oh iron warhead going in going in nope missed him oh it's coming around it's coming around come on turn towards me ah oh, bugger come on come on do something stupid come on turn towards me come on let's burn in front of him and hopefully he will do something stupid like turning 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 and holy shit there we go that's very very come on did yes it got him oh look at all that oh yeah i just love to see that okay and let's see if we can get ahead of this guy just a little bit okay now 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 and solid misses <laughs> oh, oh, oh no and he slowed down for some idiotic reason i'm guessing moronicus was with him okay now let's deal with this guy's shield we're slowly whittling these guys down um let's go back towards the base which will be over near the uh, the gate wow actually maybe we should just take out this uh, mothership while it's getting so weak nope no nope, shields coming back online must have just got a few lucky hits with um ooh, more lucky hits his shields are gone his capacitors are gone oh yeah fire everything at him Come on, do him some real damage. Get through the teeth of his defences. Oh, look at all those torpedoes going in. Oh, no shit. Oh, shit. That was bad. A spore ball and an iron warhead. Yeah. Not good at all. Okay, send in all those missiles. Come on. We've still got some capacitor juice left. What I wouldn't give for one gun right now. But this is not a regular warship this is a missile ship okay come on my little box oh yeah there you go oh, i was about to say there goes a wing i wonder if anything else will come off yep how about his entire ship blowing up okay let's head back towards the gate and the base that will be over there you know i would be absolutely fucked finding the base if I had blown that gate on the way through. Um, right. Okay, fair enough. Let's head back towards the... Okay, we must have left a small strike craft over there. Unless we missed an asteroid. Please tell me we did not miss an asteroid. And that there are 20 of these fucking small strike craft all the way over there. That would annoy me somewhat. Okay. And yeah, keep coming straight towards me and I will keep fucking firing all this ordnance straight down your throat. Okay, shields are gone. Oh, no, no, no. He's coming in on an angle now. Let's see if we can get directly ahead of him again and there we go okay come on come on come on just keep throwing him downwind while he is on his little stern chase ooh, 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 and 
you're a stubborn little fuck, you know that? Oh, we got a few torpedo hits there. Look, I don't give a shit. Let's have a look at the base. Still ages away. Seriously, he was starting to get shields back then. Hit him with something. Ooh, decent, decent. Decent. Ooh. Oh, God. Maybe I should slow down. Close the range a bit, but the problem is if I close it too far then he's going to start spinning off it at an angle. And then my missiles won't hit regardless. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is looking good. Yep, yep, and he's gone. Awesome. Okay, you, you little shithead. Uh, if he keeps this close to me, the uh, defender fighters will get him. Drones. Drones, Vastima. Drones. Defender drones. Call them drones. Wow, this dude is just slowly gliding past me. That was moronic of him. Oh, that was moronic. Touched as he is by the spirit of stupidity. Touched or blessed? Blessed, definitely blessed. Okay, how about this guy? Yeah, let's change target him. And yeah, he's gone. Okay, we're getting rather close now. I'm hoping that's just one lone strike craft that got lost and was a straggler. Or alternatively, I did miss an asteroid and there's like five of them over there. Who knows? Okay. Now, I do not anticipate this starbase going down easily. Um, pretty much, well not pretty much, all starbases in the game have got decent complements of drones. So that means I'm going to have a lot of trouble getting my iron warheads uh, through to the target. They're just going to get minced. Um, so, I don't know. I may have to get right on top of him. <laughs> yeah, let's get on top of him. Oop, oop. Let's watch the gate. Okay, let us lock onto this prick. Okay, so he's got lots of missiles. He's got two explosive warheads and he's got zapper drones. Okay, I'm getting missiles through. Okay, and one ion warhead got through. The other one got taken out at the last second. Okay, so what the hell has he got? Or did I just... Did he only have zappers and I took them out when they came at me? Okay, this is a bit of a clusterfuck. I don't know if that's my flak or his flak going off there. I think it was my flak. And, okay, so much for this being difficult, those um, two iron warheads smashed his shields flat in um, just a matter of hits. So now it's just, oh, he's out of capacity juice. Now it's just a matter of getting enough torpedoes and missiles onto the target to blow him to pieces. Uh, ooh, get shot with lasers and stuff, which means his capacitor's obviously back. What else has he got? Ooh, what do we got coming in? Strike craft. Not a lot of them. I have pretty much uh, destroyed most of the enemy strike craft. Let's spin around, try and get a few more um, solid salvos on him before I might have to changed oh shit 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 oh that was so close oh multiple spore balls would have ruined my day he's just pumping those fucking things out okay he's lost his shields again so shouldn't take too much come on get in there get in there oh come on blow a few more parts off him and 
Oh, there's a mothership coming right up my arsehole. So, I would rather deal with this bloody ba- Oh, no. Here, he's getting shields back. Again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Explosive warhead. There he goes. His capacitors are gone again. Come on. Ion warheads. Reload. Fire. There we go. This one. Holy shit. My iron warhead ran into his explosive warhead. Weird. Okay, so we didn't need it anyway. Shields got smashed flat by regular missiles and torpedoes. Come on. And he is gone. So what do we got left? One, two, three. Is that it? Three strike craft and one mothership. Um, two strike craft? Um... No strike craft? Holy fuck. Okay, fair enough. Now, let's finish off this last mothership. It's so rare to finish with a mothership. There's usually one little shithead of a bloody strike craft you've got to track down. But, here we go. A mothership to mothership duel. So rare these days. Uh huh. And yeah, there goes his shields. Come on, his capacitors are down. Fire everything at him. Everything. Oh, what are you doing? You're gonna ram me. Ooh, didn't work, buddy. I've got shields. You don't. That was a mistake. Okay, missiles, torpedoes, go, 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 and dead. Sorry, Terra warship. Wait, have I fought her already when I was doing... Didn't I fight her last time? I might have, so sorry, I keep picking on you. <laughs> anyway, so... That was a nice little fight against a Threat 150 Starbase and um, two zombie ships, two zombie motherships. Um, now, I'm just wondering, oh, I'm not even going to bother taking that stuff. Um, I'm just wondering whether or not there is any need to go and thump a faction leader like I usually do yeah let's go do it okay so I've caught up to the drifter he is level 130 and threat 111 with eight strike craft and let's thump the hell out of him sorry drifter and it looks like nobody's coming to interfere so one on one well one on one and eight strike craft close enough Let's go in. Let's see, in fact, if we can just ignore the strike craft. And nope, that's a no. That's a no. Oh, I'm stuck on a strike craft. Wow, that was weird. Come on, change targets. There we go. And first I run into a strike craft, then I run into a big giant ring in space. And my god, I'm getting slaughtered by strike craft. Wow. Like I haven't seen this happen before. Okay, now... Looks like I'm going to have to switch targets because... A, that guy has gone away and this guy is annoying me. Oop, there goes your shields. If we can get some solid hits. And... Wow, I'm getting torpedo hits on him. That's really decent. What have you got? Some zappers. Well, fuck your zappers. I have missiles and defender fighters, which you just came into the envelope of, which was probably silly. Probably very silly. Okay, Mr. Laser Bunny, dude. Tell me. There we go. Missiles up the wazoo. Ah. Oh, shit. That's, that's my iron warhead. <laughs> it's still live. <laughs> Okay, and oh, you should not have turned to engage me, dude. At least not until all those missiles <laughs> ran out of juice. 
Okay, come on, come on, let's get ahead of this guy and try and do exactly the same thing again. Well, ish. Uh, no, because there wasn't a massive trail of missiles behind this guy, but, but, there are more this time. And, ooh, this time, oh, actually. Didn't do anywhere near the damage I was expecting. And come on, turn towards me, turn towards me. Yes, there we go. That made you a sitting duck, stupid motherfucker. Okay, now. Um, to be honest, I think that's it for his strike craft. So, what we might do is start heading towards him. Yeah, I don't think he's uh, got the armament to penetrate my defences. Ooh, uh, Ashley, was that? Oh my god. That starter level stuff. You are so dead, Drifter. Um... Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, damn, about to run out of capacitor juice. Oh well, let's reload and hope that that last volley of missiles... Nope, yep, nope. Yes, that last fucking torpedo did its work. You are amazing. If you hadn't just, you know, blown yourself out of existence, as is your job, um, I would give you a hug I don't know give you a kiss I I have no idea what I'm talking about fucking just ignore me just watch me play hell turn the sound down if you want oh, oh look at all these torpedoes coming in oh it was dead already otherwise that would have been amazing and bang all done so there we go Uh, faction leader does not match the strength of this ship. Not even a silly missile ship. <laughs> uh, still, it was amusing to watch. Okay, um, now has come the point in the design episode where I have to name the ship. And <laughs> when I was ordering all the parts for it, actually came up with a name already <laughs> and i am really pleased with myself like in a fucking childish level of childish i meant to say in a childish way to a ridiculous level because <laughs> i went through and i was thinking oh uh okay so it's like a picture frame sort of thing um and then i thought oh maybe like a crate like an ammo crate and then i'm thinking you know birthday uh, gift and and all sorts of things and then i thought okay you know it's basically a box and i thought a box and then i thought oh my god a flack in the box <laughs> okay so there's four flack in the box but yeah so i am going to call this design the flack in the box and that's that give me your thoughts and ideas below and like and subscribe as you will until next time, take care of yourselves, and most importantly, have a good one!